The emergency department at the Wilson Memorial General Hospital in Marathon was shut down for about 10 hours yesterday due to the unexpected absence of one nurse. Fortunately, there were no severe emergent cases over that period, but hospital officials are concerned that ongoing staffing challenges could still impact patient care. Every day we are really honestly on a knife edge with regards to you know, one sick call may put us over the edge, and uh, in particular on weekends when we have less uh, staff available. The ER closure was in place between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. Sunday, although they were prepared to redirect patients to the nearest ERs located one hour away. Hospital CEO Adam Brown says the few emergency patients that came in had relatively minor issues and were able to wait for the ER to reopen. Brown is relieved there was no serious impacts and grateful for the patients and understanding of the community. But he says he's taking responsibility for keeping the ER open. We need to find solutions and working hard to find solutions and, and working with all of our partners, including the good folks at Ontario Health and our Ontario Hospital Association and Ministry of Health to, to try to resolve this long-term sustainability issue. So this is report, you know, presented as a short-term crisis, but the reality is this is a long-term crisis and there's no simple short-term solution. That it's just not, you can't, you can't create registered nurses overnight, that it takes four years of schooling at least. Brown says the hospital is working with all its partners to find solutions to the issue. But in the meantime, staffing at the Marathon Hospital remains precarious. He says it's much too early to tell whether the court striking down of Bill 124 will improve matters, but feels the wage cap legislation is not helping in retaining or recruiting staff.